Hey everyone, welcome to another ServiceNow New York Minute. I'm Robert Fedorik. It is so good to have you here. If you're a ServiceNow ITBM customer and you rigorously report on time, you might have already stumbled upon a deep weakness in ServiceNow time cards. The fact that they're based on weeks and not days. Oh sure, you can get a time card for every week, but ServiceNow can't report on the individual days, which means you can't report on the month, which is the most common period used for cost actualization. There are two ways we traditionally compensated for this. First, we'd make horrific interfaces that forced users to submit two time cards in weeks where a month changed. Or we'd hand code our solutions to create time card day records. But in the New York release of ServiceNow, that all changes. ServiceNow has finally created their own time card days table with a script include and a couple of business rules to manage the creation of time cards broken down into daily records. What this means for you? It means you can accurately report on monthly time consumption by picking all the time card day records that appear within a given month. With just a little extra effort, you could also determine the cost based on the labor rate card used. No more stupid time card week workarounds. No more custom coded solutions. This is one of the most important ServiceNow updates for ITBM users who are cost conscious and account for time monthly. Check the description below for release notes on this feature. And if you need architectural guidance with the passion and experience demonstrated here, don't hesitate to contact me. This has been another New York Minute-ish, but be sure to smash that like button and share with all your peers.